Find Cher to Dan Byrne to Lloyd Kelly. This is dangerous down the left hand side. It's pulled back into the box. The shot from Joe Linton was saved. The flag goes up on the far side. Going to be ruled out, I think, but Leno making the save from uh, Joe Linton's initial first time effort. It's then recovered to smash it into the Fulham net off the underside of the crossbar, I think, but the flag's gone up on the far side. Just about. It's uh, good news from our point of view. It was uh, Joe Willock, I think, down the left-hand side who strayed offside, Jamie, before he got the cross in, but Joe Linton there finding a load of space inside the Fulham penalty area. He had two goes at it, but it ended up in the net. We've got to... Uh, We've got to keep an eye on that. Brilliant save initially, wasn't it? And then the follow-up was a good effort from Joe Linton. It was a stray offside. He didn't need to do it, Willock. Now Raul on the turn. That's a great finish from Raul Jimenez. We've gone from thinking we were a goal down to taking the lead, and we're, uh, we're in front. A great finish at the part the end. A great turn from Raul Jimenez. We've got the ball forward quickly again. Priori was involved down the right-hand side, but uh, still had a lot of work to do, Jamie, there, Raul. Priori just pushing it into the box. There was a lot of pace on it. He took it on his chest. He turned. He didn't take another touch. He just turned, belted it with his right foot. Nick Pope, terrific goalkeeper for Newcastle. Couldn't get anywhere near that. Pushing it on his chest. It's a great turn and a great execution. I mean, one or two of us were saying last week, if only we had a player like Danny Ings, that if he gets half a chance inside the box, he'll whack it in the net. Keeping that uh, first choice striker's role. Here come Fulham again. This time down the left-hand side. Alex Awobi, Emil Smith, throw! Oh, he's just clipped the crossbar. Just opened his body up there, belted it with his right foot. I think uh, Sasha Lukic there suggesting to the ref the goalkeeper might have got a hand on it. I don't think he did, to be fair, but it's so close to number two for Fulham. It's just off the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. But going forward, Jamie, we do and have done in most of the game so far at times look really, really dangerous. Yep, Calvin Bassett will take it. Pushes it for Alex Awobi, left-hand side. Floats it early, looking for Raul. It's over Dan Byrne. Raul's into the penalty area. Well, it's good goalkeeping in the end. It was a difficult one to take. The ball bouncing and uh, away to his right. Nick Pope has spread himself. It's uh, at the expense of a corner, but good save, really, from Nick Pope. It was a difficult one, Jamie, for Raul to get his right foot around. He had to wait for it. Kind of bounced past him, really. Took him wide, and the keeper's done well. But first corner of the game. Goes well, the, our way. well, the pitch is really watered, isn't it, before kickoff, and that meant that it just ran away from Real. That made it tougher as well. You don't often beat Dan Byrne from those sort of situations in crossfield passes. Corner from Pereira. Anderson with a header. It's on its way through. It's blocked. And then Anthony Robinson. No disrespect to him. Probably not your first choice as that ball fell. Seven or eight yards from goal onto his left foot, and he smashes it into the crowd. But uh, Anderson tried to place his header. It hit... I think both a Fulham and a Newcastle player and fell for Anthony Robinson, maybe 10 yards from goal. And well, eventually, I think there's time over it, but throws it towards Pereira. In the end, I think it was uh, Joe Willock who got his boot to it, but he found Traore. Here's Emil Smith Rowe inside left position, carrying it up to the edge of the box to Alex Awobi. Back to Smith Rowe. Yes! Come on! Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous from Fulham. I thought Nick Pope might have done just enough there. He may be disappointed he didn't, the Newcastle keeper. But Smith Rowe deserves that, Jamie. We've already seen it in the opening few games of this season. The understanding he's got with uh, Alex Awobi. They really are forging a great partnership. He picked him out. He's made his run into the box. Awobi returned the pass. He had to take it on the run, uh, Emil, and he just kind of poked it past the goalkeeper. The angle was perfect, but there wasn't really enough power on it for me. Maybe you've got to say, why isn't Nick Pope keeping that out? But uh, who cares? It's a lovely run from Emil Smith Rowe. Great understanding he's forming, as I say, with, uh, with Alex Awobi. And we talked about the second goal, Jamie, and 
Maybe it's uh, this is the afternoon, or certainly there will be afternoons where we're going to start adding goals. It's a similar situation. Newcastle are struggling to get into this game as uh, Kenny Tetty helps that one forward for Traore. That's a lovely first touch, gets it down, faced by Dan Byrne. Out on the right-hand side, pushes it through for Kenny Tetty. Back for Traore to Sasha Lukic. Looks up, swings the cross in. Oh, it's another effort just over the bar this time from Rowley. Had to take it. It's a snapshot, really. He tried to get ahead of uh, Kieran Trippier, which he did. And swept it towards goal, but up and over the bar. A lovely patient build-up from Fulham. The ball in, found Rowley. If he could have kept it down. Well, I tell you what, Jim, they're struggling with our movement. You saw Alex Awobi just take the defender away, and that created the space for Real. He sort of swept it towards goal, leaning back. Just bundle into them from behind, because it's not a foul. Here we come again, Traore. This is great stuff, you know, from Fulham. He's into the box, he's gone wide. The right foot, still got the shot on target. Nick Pope, I think, stuck his left knee out to save that. It's gone behind the Fulham's second corner of the game. You can't take your eyes off it for a second, Jamie. Well, they're all over the show, aren't they, defensively? I thought Dan Byrne did well just to hold his position. He said to Traore, you can get on the outside if you want to, but just held his shape. And as you say, he saved it almost with his left boot. Finds him, Alex Iwobi, edge of the penalty area. A couple of little step-overs, pulls it back into the box. Oh, it was ahead of Pereira, but... Uh, it didn't reach Raul, it was almost a great ball, but now they've given it back to us. Here's Anderson going, the goal! Oh, it's a great save from Nick Pope. Right-footed effort there from uh, Joachim Anderson. I just think the fans are going to fall in love with him, Jamie. We, we've mentioned it before, we all know how brilliant he was in the season he was here on loan. But sadly, there was no fans here to see it, so in terms of watching him in the flesh, you know, obviously they'd have seen it on TV. Sasha Lukic, who was one of four... Fulham players on a yellow card as well. Yes, that might uh, might have been a, a consideration, but here come Newcastle straight away with a break. Harvey Barnes into the area and he's slotted it in. Well, 30 seconds into the second half, they've reduced the deficit. You can have to say Jacob Murphy's made a massive uh, impression there. Straight from the uh, word go, just introduced at half time along with Lewis Hall. And that's put a different complexion on the game altogether. Little one-two there. He's gone through the middle, Murphy. First time ball to Lewis Hall. It's a cool finish, to be honest. He switched it immediately onto his right foot and he's placed it past Bernd Leno. He's a dangerous little player, always has been. But it's a good finish, that Jamie, but it's a hell of a shock. 30 seconds into the half. And all of a sudden... Fulham have just uh, a one goal lead they're going to check it VAR Jim for offside and the one thing I would say I did wonder if Anthony Robinson might well have fouled Jacob Murphy in the build up to the goal you know brought him down he's not on a yellow is he Anthony no he's not no no possible offside I think his left leg is offside isn't it well, looking at that still that we've got on our monitor it looks, looks it, it doesn't, doesn't it, it? It's difficult to say. They'll be drawing lines, I'm sure. And uh, but we've got a still on the monitor, a st still image at the moment that uh, would suggest his left foot is goal side of uh, Wackingham Anderson. And if they're looking at what we're looking at, that's offside, isn't it? I hope so, mate. I mean, it'd be great if they had another one ruled out. It's Isak who got. Oh, oh he said onside. Who was the Fulham player playing him on then? And it wasn't Anderson. Must be Bassey. I mean, this second phase, he's, he's definitely not offside over there, is he? But no. I thought there's still we were looking well, are at... are looking at this one as well? Yeah, but I don't think he's off. I thought the first one was. This is Harvey Barnes. Then, That's isn't close, it now. though, isn't it, Barnes? Yeah, again, it's difficult to say without the lines in there but they've given it yeah the goal's been given they checked both Isak and uh, Harvey Barnes I thought looking at the still we saw originally Jamie they were going to definitely rule that out but 
That's what baffles you because that looked, there weren't any lines on it. On the image we were looking at and looking at the, uh, the lines on the pitch, the actual lines in the turf, I thought it looked conclusive. Now it goes to Harvey Barnes. Gordon goes outside him. They're both playing on the left at the moment. Gordon back to Barnes, the right footed shot. Thankfully, just couldn't find the target, but they opened this up again. And it's what you kind of expected, Jamie. We said similarly with West Ham, you know, they were so inferior in the first half. You know, you're going to get a reaction. They're, they're going to get a flea in their ear. They're going to come out and uh, have a right go. And obviously, it doesn't help when you can see that after 30 seconds, but uh, yeah, appeals for. Uh, Having gone out of play, but the referee plays it on left-hand side. Anderson nips in, finds Traore. Good strength from him, good balance as well. Bursts into the penalty area, right-hand side, a little chip cross. Iwobi, oh, that's a great save. Alex Iwobi caught it on the volley from three yards out, and Nick Pope has redeemed himself. Been critical of his, uh, his involvement in Fulham's second goal, but that's a great save, Jamie, and a Traore there. That's sensational stuff from him. And this cross is delightful. Raul felt he was shoved to the ground, maybe lost his foot, and it's difficult to say, but it went over him and Trippier. Alex Awobi on the volley. And Nick Pope's made a great instinctive save. Fulham have a corner. He did really well there to hold off Joe Linton. Purposeful play, wasn't it, from Triori? Yeah, Alex Awobi almost on the uh, score sheet. And now Raul with a shot from the corner. Oh, Nick Pope for me has made a bit of a meal of that one as well. All seem to go in slow motion. Yeah, I don't know if it's an awkward spinning ball. He seemed to be down very early and then seemed to be a little bit deceived by it at the last second. He pushes it behind with two hands. It's another corner to Fulham. Back to Murphy. Low crossing. Calvin Bassey just cuts it out, gets it clear, but straight to Trippier. Infield for Bruno. They start to grow in confidence. Joe Linton to Bruno once more and he goes for goal thankfully he got underneath that he's always going up and over the crossbar we're being overrun in midfield Jim yeah in those central areas the goal has uh, really given them a lift obviously and at the moment it's uh, quite a precarious lead but for them still lead by two goals to one 20 minutes of the second half gone you mentioned Tom I mean do you look at Harrison for his work rate in there I think Harrison's coming on Newcastle looking to break, Harrison Reed got a touch on that but he diverted it into the path of Anthony Gordon who's breaking up to the edge of the penalty area, he goes outside the defenders of good work from Bern Leno, Kenny Tetti couldn't make the challenge, it was too risky, good save from Bern Leno, but now Joe Linton goes to ground, there's no foul there, he's quickly back on his feet to be fair to him and he turns it into the path of Jacob Murphy, and he goes for goal, and that wasn't too far over. He cut in onto his left foot. Thankfully, it's over Bert Leno's goal, but they are looking dangerous. It was a good save from the uh, Fulham keeper to deny Anthony Gordon. That was the best bit of work we've seen from him, but uh, Bert Leno was equal to it. And then Jacob Murphy cutting in, put the left-footed shot just over the bar. They will be feeling optimistic, I think, the uh, Newcastle fans. But they can get something out of it. They're going to get Muniz and Nelson on, I think, at least shortly. Reese Nelson and uh, Rodrigo Muniz. There's a burst forward by Lewis Hall. Cut out by Anderson. There's a break on for Fulham if Penny Tetti can keep that in play, and he did so really well. Muniz is in the box once it played in. Kenny Tetti went for glory, went for goal with the right foot, and it's into the... Uh, Ground at the Hammersmith end. You can see the frustration there on young Rodrigo Muniz. He felt there might be an opportunity coming his way. He uh, went pelting into the box. He actually pointed where he wanted it. I mean, Kenny, you can't probably blame him for having a shot, but uh, when it comes to nothing and it ends up in the crowd, you think, well, should he have tried to pick out the striker? Yeah, because there hasn't been a bad challenge or... Uh, you know, anything particularly untoward at all. There's a foul That's on a foul Kenny on Tetti Kenny. for sure. <laughs> Play on. Well, oh, Bruno. Well, he's giving it away as a chance here for Reese Nelson. Yeah! Now pick it out! Reese Nelson with his first goal to Fulham, and it's a gift. Mucking about in their own penalty area. 
And in the end, the gift of an opportunity he had to keep his head, the young man, he took a touch and he buried it with his right foot. And just like uh, Emil Smith Rowe before him, it hasn't taken long for the Arsenal contingent to open their account. Reese Nelson has done it as well. He's looked good since he came on. And it's 3-1 to Fulham, and that surely now is three points. And it was interesting, Jamie, Marco called him over to the touchline here a minute or two ago and spoke to him. I wonder if he said to him, get into the box. But I mean, a gift, Bruno's played it across his own box to the penalty spot, straight to him. He's taken a touch, spanked it with his right foot. Nick Pope, to be fair, has come charging out. He's, he's realised the trouble he's in. But he's left a great big gap in the middle of the goal and Reese Nelson's got the quality to punish him. And that's fantastic for Fulham. That is the word, Jim, quality. Because he still had work to do when it was played, you know, when you're straight on with the goalie like that. Yeah, Very good finish. Easy to miss. Easy, to be fair. yep. And that's good from Fulham. Harrison Reed winning it back from Bruno there again. Good burst down the right hand channel. Great run. Muniz, oh, he's taking it first time, Rodrigo Muniz. 12 yards out, just right of the penalty spot. He took it on the run, but smashed it wide. I mean, 4-1 would have uh, would have flattered us, maybe, but uh, great work from Harrison Reed to pick him out. He's really got his boot through that.